Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my first update for my HP Project Pan project. If you guys missed the intro, I'll throw that video up in the cards. In the intro, I explain the entire project. It's originally created by Christina Chang. I link her channel and I'll also link her down below as well. But in that video, I really go in depth about the products that I picked and why I picked them. So you, if you haven't seen that, jump there if you want to figure that out because this is just going to be a quick update on where I am with my seven products. It feels a bit soon to be doing an update, but I've already finished one of my products and I've made a little bit of progress on some of the others and I was really feeling my eye look. I've got my Slytherin sweater on. Let's just go for it. So let's go ahead and jump in. My first product was actually a green mascara from YSL and uh, I've got a story about this and how I learned the hard way that this uh, isn't waterproof. <laughs> so I was uh, walking to work or walking to the train station the day after a snowstorm and it was rough because not a lot of people had shoveled yet. Like it was just finished like the morning of and I walked to the train station right around 7 a.m. So I'm walking to the train station, I'm struggling, I've got a heavy backpack, I've got my purse and I'm just, I'm struggling. So I'm walking to the train station and I feel a drop on my head. I'm walking underneath like a tree or something. And I'm like, oh, what was that? And my dumb butt looks up and I look up and boosh. I get just like a slush branch. Basically, there was a bunch of slush on a branch and it f melted enough to fall off and smack your girl right in the face. It was a great start to my morning. So I just like shake it off and like throw it down like this. I don't touch my face because I'm like, if I don't touch it, maybe everything will dry and my makeup will still look nice. And I'm like, okay, just ignore it. Keep going to work. So I finished the trek to the train. The train is packed. I jump on and I'm like crushed against a door and I'm in the middle, like in a corner by myself. And I decide, let me just take out a mirror real quick and just see what my face looks like because I honestly don't know. And I wasn't wearing anything too dramatic. I had my regular foundation and stuff on. Honestly, I was worried about whether or not, like, my foundation on my forehead had totally rubbed off. But I open up my compact and I look. I was wearing this mascara that day. And the water and the snow had forced the mascara all the way down. I had two green streaks here. And I'm on the train on the way to work. I panic and I try to like start like eh, and like rub away the mascara, but it stains. It stained all the way through my makeup. It was staining my face at this point. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, it's 7 a.m. I'm trying to get to work. I've got green mascara all over my face. What am I gonna do? So I just like try to get the whole morning like this, like on the train so that no one can see my face. I just look down and I've got like my scarf up and I finally get to Hoboken where my office is. I get off the train onto the platform and I make a beeline right for CVS. There's a CVS like two blocks away. So I run to CVS, I buy a packet of makeup removing cloths and I just run to the bathroom <laughs> and I'm just trying to like get in, get out so I can get to work, right? Well, unfortunately, like there was a homeless woman and like, I, I feel really bad. I know she has a right to use the public restrooms and everything, but she was blocking the door to the bathroom and wasn't letting anybody in. And I'm like, okay, th I just, I just needed to like re literally wipe all my makeup off. I'm about to do it here in the hallway, but I also kind of have to pee to TMI. So I'm like, I'm waiting here and then eventually like a manager comes over, like they, she moves, she guess she needed help carrying something. I run in, use the restroom and just wipe all my makeup off, everything. So that's all said and done and I run to my office and I still get in not too late. Um, I've got a meeting and you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's the first time I've shown up at my office without makeup on. So my coworker who I affectionately call work mom because she she mothers everybody ran over and goes are you okay are you feeling okay you're not wearing makeup are you like I would like like 20 questions and I've already had a horrible morning and I'm like I just want to work and just get everything done and so yeah and she like does this 
and like walks away and doesn't talk to me until lunchtime. And I'm like, great. She finally like left. Later, she told me that she had to leave because she was laughing so hard that she thought she would laugh in my face because she thought it was hilarious. Like, I understand like this story is kind of funny now, <laughs> but right after it happened, not funny, <laughs> not funny at all. Now, it kind of gives me a chuckle. I think it's kind of cute. But the day, like right when it happened, I was still furious and I was having a horrible day. So anyway, moral of the story is that this mascara is not waterproof <laughs> and I'm never going to use it on a day when like it snowed or if it's going to rain or anything because whew. Whew. moving on to the next product. <laughs> This one I actually is the only product I haven't used at all. So I, the boo on me. This is the Superstar Loose Pigment from ColourPop and this is in the shade Honey Pot. It's like that silvery loose eyeshadow shade. I really thought I would do like if I did a look like this I would try to incorporate more silver in but honestly I'm still having issues reaching for like a loose shadow. That's why I put it in this project. That's why I'm working on it. I haven't used it in the first few weeks, but I'm more dedicated than ever to actually getting use out of it very soon. My next product was actually a couple of shades from my Pan That palette. It is ABH Subculture, so I'm trying to make some progress on the four house shades, Destiny, Edge, Axis, and All Star. Now, I do have a nice dip in Destiny and Edge, so I really think that's where I'm going to hit Pan first. I'm still having trouble with access. That's my goal for my Pan That Palette. If you missed my Pan That Palette update, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I'm still having issues with access. I like All Star, but um, it's not got like a dip in it, you know? So I really think I'm going to hit Pan on Destiny or Edge sometime soon. I actually just hit Pan on New Wave and that was kind of a surprising because I wasn't really working on it. I was trying to work on the other shades, but I hit Pan there. So I really think if I'm looking at this honestly, I think I'm going to hit pan on edge first. So fingers crossed. I'm working on this palette. I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to try to really focus on edge and destiny. And once I hit pan on one or both of them, really switch gears and focus on all star and axis. My next product I've used a couple of times, mainly as like an inner corner highlight. And this is the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Gold Goddess. This is gorgeous all over the lid as an inner corner as anything. Um, I'm really trying to incorporate this more into like a daily routine just so I can get more use out of it. I do see that if I like move the brush around, I can see like into the container. So I really think that if I buckle down and actually use this for the rest of the project that I could theoretically pan the entire thing by Harry's birthday. So getting some good use out of this. I'm really glad that I brought one of these Stila glitters into this project because it's really helping me re-realize how versatile they are and how great they last throughout a full day. My next product was a highlighter that I'm currently keeping in like my big face palette and it's this Wet n Wild highlighter right here. So this is where I'm at right now. I'm focusing on this corner right here and as you can see there are some brush marks right there. And I think I'm making some good progress. I've used this as a highlighter for, I want to say half of the days and the other half of the days I've been focusing on a highlighter I recently hit pan on that I've really been loving, but I think I'm making decent progress. I was kind of surprised that I could actually see marks in the product after I was using it. I don't know how far down I am, if that makes sense, in the product because it does seem a bit thick for a highlighter, so I don't know honestly can't describe where I am with this but I have been using this it thankfully it is still appropriate for work so I've been able to use this as a highlighter for work as well as for when I'm home and just kind of playing with makeup the next product I'm actually why did I do that I'm actually wearing on my eyes today and these are the lashes so these are the house of lashes in knockout and this is the first time I've worn lashes in months and I just did this dramatic look for a palette resurrection that will be going up later this week. But this look just like it called for lashes and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Honestly, this is gorgeous and it's very green and I 
love it. So this is the first time I've actually worn these lashes since this project started. So I will be adding one little like dash mark to the back of the box to signify that I've used these once. I really think I'm not going to have an issue using these 10 times by the end of this project, especially because they look so nice. I did have to trim them. I trimmed them a little bit on the outside, but they're really pretty and it actually wasn't that hard for me to apply them, which was my worry. Like I would I was kind of afraid that I was going to totally forget how to wear lashes and like spend an hour putting them on, which I've done that. It's not fun. It only took me like five minutes. They look really pretty. All right, my last product is the one I've actually completely finished up, and this is my Shantakai Future Skin Gel Foundation in the shade Alabaster. Totally empty. <sighs> this is both like a happy and a sad moment. I love this foundation. I did find a dupe for this foundation in a previous video. I'll throw that up in the cards. It's a BB cream from Wet n Wild that performs literally the same. So I'm never going to repurchase this foundation again. I actually, so update, I purchased a few other shades of the Wet n Wild BB cream and found one that matches me perfectly. It's the shade Light and I'm wearing it today. I love it. So, like I said, bittersweet moment because I loved this foundation. It's just a luxury and it's expensive. And now that I found a dupe, I don't need to buy it again. So, Marie Kondoing this, thanking you for your service. I did purchase and pan two of these, and they're eighty dollars each. So, whew. but I am glad that. I mean, if it is something luxury like that, this is the best outcome for that like it's a product that you love that you use you totally finish up it's worth the money and I'm really grateful that I was able to find such a great dupe especially because I'm terrible at like finding dupes on my own like I feel like I'm not great at picking out differences like that but I just happened to try that BB cream out and I had this out with me and I looked at them together and honest I honestly personally think they're dupes like I'm not sponsored by either side like I had some people like questioning whether or not it was real in that video, but I believe it. I've already purchased three more of the Wet n Wild BB cream. So yeah, very happy I've made progress on this and I'm hoping I can do just as great with the rest of these products. Thank you guys so much for watching this update. I hope if you guys liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you are also in this project, I've been trying to keep along with other people that are doing this HP project pan by like following the hashtag. If you're also in the project, let me know down below. I would love to subscribe, follow along with you as well. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.